Hello and welcome back. We are still in day 14. Uh, we are trying to understand about Git. So in this lecture, I'm going to talk about how to use Git with AnyPoint Studio. What our project we created using AnyPoint Studio, I want to commit and push it to my remote repository. How to achieve it? So let us get started. I'll share my screen. OK. So firstly, if you want to integrate your AnyPoint Studio with Git, you need to understand that username and password authentication will not work. You need to generate something called as a token. So let us see how to generate a token so that we can use that token with my username in AnyPoint Studio. So I'll go to my uh, GitHub. This is my GitHub uh, organization which I created. Um, so here what I'll do is I'll go to my uh, settings by clicking on my profile icon. Mm. At the bottom there will be developer settings. And here we can use tokens. Under personal access token I will select tokens. Here I want to generate a token. So generate a token. Um, fine green tokens are still in beta. Right now I will use classic token. OK. So. Fine, I clicked on um, generate a new classic token. I'll give a name. My token for test. And expiration time, I'll give it 90 days. Then I will actually give all permissions. Right now, I'm giving all permissions. Maybe in a real scenario, your administrator will generate a token with minimal permissions, whatever you need. Right now, I'm selecting all the permissions. Um, so. Generate a token. Now this token can be used. For uh, logging in in any point studio. OK, so what I want to do right now. Um, firstly, I have one project, a random project I'm choosing. I'll close all the unrelated projects. So I will use this project. I want to make this project as a Git project or I want to make this as a Git repository. Then commit the changes and push it to remote. So this is what I want to do. So right click. Um, under team, I have to select share project. Till now this project is not a Git project. So I want to make it as a Git project. I'll right click team share project. So create a repository in the parent folder. I'll select this option and I want to make my project folder as a repository folder. It's up to us. Uh, I will make this as a uh, Git repository by clicking on create repository. Yes. So um, actually. I'll say finish. If you see uh, I'll go into this directory. I'll go to properties, go into this. Yeah, this is the one. Do you see the dot git folder? That means this folder is initialized as a git repository, local repository. Fine. Now you can see that there are some arrow symbols, question mark symbols, etc. Right? That means that there are some untracked files and uncommitted changes in this repository. By default, you can see that the branch name is master. OK, I'll go to team and. Um, I can say switch to a new branch. I've, I can select main branch. OK, main. I can select here. Local. Yeah, uh, there are no local branches as of now. Um, so what I will do is let it be a master branch later. I will switch. So here I'll go to team. And then commit. Hmm. Now 
once I started committing, it will show unstaged changes. Here you can see git staging folder opened. There are a lot of unstaged changes. I have to select all, add all the files to staging, and then I'll give a commit message. This is commit from Siva. Okay. So actually, I'll commit. See, this username and email are picked from my git config. So let me tell you what. Actually, if I right click and git bash here. Hey, sorry, git bash. Git bash here. Mm, git config dash dash list. If I see, hmm, I gave user dot email as siva at deloitte dot com. User dot siva user dot name is siva. So I picked automatically from the git config. That's okay. Now I'll commit. So this will commit to local repository. Once they are committed, you can see this icon cylinder icon. Okay. Now what I will do is suppose if I add anything here and save it see now there is an arrow that means again this is uh, to be committed there are unstaged changes if i go to get staging again i will add to staging and then commit made some changes in xml something commit so there are two commits right now okay now i want to push these things to remote repository. So what I will do is I will again go to my I'll create one repository. I'll go to uh, my repositories. Mm, I will create a new repository. Um, create a new uh, I can give any name. Normally we give same name. As the project, but I can give anything. I'll write consuming O or to something. I gave a repository name. I want it to a public repository, and I don't want to add a uh, readme file. I will create repository. Fine. So I want this to be my remote repository. Okay. So I'll right click on the project team. What I will try to do is first of all. Um, remote, I will try to click on push dash dot dot dot. Mm. Now automatically as I copied um, it, this URL, whatever copied URL is automatically taken as the URL location. These all are populated. Now user, my username is Seva Prasad Balur. This is my GitHub uh, username. Oh, I actually. Did I copy the token? No, I didn't copy the token. So go again, go to developer settings. And let me. Um, generate a new token. I should copy this token. Token cannot be. Uh, again, it is not visible, OK? So I'll delete the previous token. I'll delete the previous tokens. There are no tokens. I'll generate one more token. Uh, my token I'll write. I will select and give all the scopes or permissions. Actually, these all are not required. I could give minimal permissions, but I don't want to waste time on that. OK, I copied it. Then I will actually paste the token here and I select store in secure store next. Fine. So what? I want to push my master. OK, to a master branch. OK, add spec. Next. So it will create a new master branch. On the remote repository, I'll say finish. Hmm. It is saying pushed now just 
let us go ahead and see my repositories. Um, consuming OAuth 2. So you can see all my code. It is pushed. And if you see two commits, these are the two commits, whatever I made locally. Fine. So we understood how to push. OK. Now. Um, suppose if I modify any file on the server, on the repository, for example, if let's assume that some other developer has done some changes. Um, for example, I'll just go to SRC main. Mule. OK, and manually I will try to edit. And I'll try to delete this logger. OK. OK, assume that this is done by some other developer and I am committing the changes. So I did another commit. Now if I go to um, here, there are three commits. Yes, I did it right now. Hmm. Now, how can the other developer pull? Suppose of assume that some other developer has committed done one more commit. How to pull? Right click on the project team. Here you can select pull. OK. So again, I'll, I'll have to give from where to pull. So this is the project. This is a repository. I'll paste the repository. OK, automatically username and password are populated. Next. I have to specify what is the remote which I want to pull. So I can and click on here. I want the same. What are populated the remote origin remote name is origin. I can give any name. Uh, I'll write. Siva origin. This is a name I gave to my remote. Finish. So what I want to pull. I want to actually pull the master branch. Configure upstream uh, upstream for pull and push finish. So. It is pulled. I'll close it. See the logger is gone. In the open file, right? So now you know how to push and how to pull. That is fine. Uh, very simple, right? Um, so again, there are a lot of options. If you want to um, commit. If you want to switch to a new branch, you can do so. Now I'll switch to a new branch. From master, I want to create a test branch. Configure upstream. Pull and push. So now you can see that I switch it to test branch. Actually in remote, there are only master and there's only master branch right now. I'll try to push test branch as well. Let us see what will happen. Team. Remote push. Next. With branch test branch, I want to push to test branch on the destination. Next. See a new branch test is created. Finish. Done. No errors. Now if I just refresh. You can see that there's a test branch. Same thing is committed. Good. Now you understood how to push, how to pull, how to commit, etc. from within any point studio. Now what I want to do is again, um, I want to clone a repository which is already available on GitHub and I want to import it as a mule project. How? So if you want to clone, what you can do is you can open perspective and go to Git perspective. Here I'm in Git perspective. I can right click and click on clone a repository. Which repository you want to clone? Mm, for example, I'll go to here. I want any of the mule repository. Um, for example, this is the one. I have. Mm, 
I want to clone it. So copy this URL. And. Paste it. So I want to clone this repository automatically here. Everything is taken. Username and password also is populated. So it is saying OK, there are a lot of branches. I want to actually get all those branches as well. If you see uh, my repository, there are a lot of branches. So I want all these branches as well. It is automatically showing me. So next. Initial branch, I have to specify anything. Let's say I want to make initial branches. Uh, module uh, master finish. So this is the repository. Now this repository, if you see, it is present in my user directory git repository. It is not my workspace. So I will actually go there. C drive. Users, my username Sio Prasad. Git. And here is the Deloitte restaurant test API. This is the one. So I want this to be imported as a project into any point studio. I'll switch to mule design perspective. Let us go to file import. Any point studio project from file system next. I'll select the project root folder. Select. So it will be imported as restaurant SAPI. I want to copy the project into my workspace. Finish. What will happen? Here is my restaurant SAPI. And uh, everything is imported and this is my mule project. Good. Now if you see I want to switch to another branch. What I can do right click team. Switch to other branch. You can see in remote there are a lot of branches as it. If I want to switch to let us say SA22, I can select it. It is showing me check out as a new local branch. OK. Finish. So I am switching to another branch SA22. So like that you can clone a repository. You can import it as a project. You can switch to whatever branch you want, etc. in any point studio. I hope this discussion helped. So we are done with the entire discussion on Git. In our next lectures, we will see the CI CD process. OK, see you next lecture.